How's the old eyesight this evening, Fife? Much better, thank you. I have a new pair of spectacles at last. Fife has spent much of this week going to and from his ophthalmologist. That's an optician to you and me. Yes, I had terrible trouble seeing where I was going. I kept ending up in the catering suppliers next door. Yes, he's now nearly got enough glasses to host a wine and cheese evening. <laughs> now, a few of you will know this, but Fife seldom wears his spectacles at home. An unnecessary extravagance. Indeed, although the uncharitable may say this has much to do with the Teutonic mean of Mrs. Fife. Ignorance is bliss, if you catch my meaning. Yes, sir. Uh, in the early years, she used to bleach her moustache. Indeed. Whereas now, she and I frequently get mistaken for one another at parties. <laughs> anyway, each to their own, as the saying has it. And that, funnily enough, is what this next song is all about. When it comes to affairs of the heart, there's no accounting for taste. Blonde or ginger, looker or minger, there none, none of them go to waste. Some men like the mysterious type, others prefer them chatty. And one man's glorious rubiness is another man's wanton fatty. That's a chocolate box selection, but don't delve in search of love. Cause there's an overlooked confection in the abandoned lair above. <laughs> I like women over 30, a bit thick around the middle and fuller in the bust. They are much more likely to be dirty and are pretty much do anything when overcome with lust. There's something to be said for the gamier kind of bird. They love a bit of stuffing and a spit roast's not unheard of. <laughs> so forget the young and tutored and the frankly immature and why not give their mom a call? <laughs> I like women over 60. I really shouldn't say it, but it's true. I often cop a feel when I'm out with meals on wheels, and afterwards I sh 